In this video I will refresh you about uh, decimal place value as well as reading and writing numbers in English with decimal places that is for numbers that are less than one okay that's how we write it numbers less than one let me just write up here a nice example say uh, about that number okay uh, before we get started two things uh, cardinal numbers cardinal numbers and ordinal cardinal and ordinal numbers cardinal numbers read in English like one two or seven one two and seven are examples of cardinal numbers for ordinal numbers uh, the word ordinal suggests that the numbers are in order and uh, to make ordinal numbers in English this is how you do it first second seventh okay so uh, one is the cardinal form of a number first is its ordinal form two is its cardinal form second is its ordinal form number seven here is it seven is it in cardinal form and seventh is in its ordinal form to read decimal numbers in English we will use the words no, uh, and the number words in their ordinal form let's get started on this one for example 0 0.1 one more one more thing uh, you can read these decimal numbers either digit by digit like 0 0.1 or you can say the name of the number indicating place value in the number so you can either say 0 0.1 or you can say 1 tenth 1 tenth and here is an ordinal number indicating the place value of the digit 1. The words 1 tenth mean that 1 is the actual digit that is written down digit written down and and this is the cardinal form okay this is I'm just gonna do it in brackets here cardinal cardinal those are the numbers that are actually written down and the ordinal numbers here this tenth is a word that has in terms of grammar is in an ordinal form ordinal and the word tenth indicates its place value because the one is in the tenth place let's uh, see another number here 0 0.12 you can either say 0 0.12 read it digit by digit and that's fine or you can say 12 hundredth now again 12 is a cardinal form of a number and again these are the digits oops, digits or numbers that are written down there after the decimal dot there is 12 so the 12 here those are the digits or numbers that are written down there and the hundredth indicate this word indicates the place value of this 12 and this is how it works wherever the last number is for example in the number 12 the last digit is 2 the last number is where the place value is indicated here's another example how about that
you can either read it digit by digit like 0 0.0012 and that's fine or you can say 12 10 thousandth 10 uh, oopsie thousand thousand th. okay take a look at this one here again is an ordinal sorry a cardinal number a cardinal number means that these are the digits written down and the ordinal words ten thousand indicate the place value of these written down digits in a manner that the last written down number is, has the place value of what is indicated. The first, the, the first zero here has a place value of tenths. The second zero has a place value of hundredths. The digit number one has a place value of thousandths. And the digit number two has a place value of ten thousandths. That's how we read uh, this number. This is twelve ten thousandths. Now, uh, reading a number digit by digit works, but when we have too many digits, too many zeros, it could be problematic. For example, How about that? 0 0.000012 It still works, but if I have any more zeros, it can be confusing how many zeros are exactly in front of the 12. That's why we have cardinal and ordinal numbers. So for cardinal numbers, you say 12, and then you count tens, hundredths, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, millions, twelve millionth, twelve millionth. The word millionth indicates the place value of the last digit. The digit number two is on the millionth place. And uh, twelve is the cardinal number that indicates the actual number of digits that are written down 12 okay so that's basically how to read uh, and uh, write decimal numbers in English going just back to the original example you would read this number as 120 t okay I'll just I'll just write it down 100 120 Can I just do this? 400 Let's see, 400 and 56 there so 123,456 and then you count the place values tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, millions so then you say the place value word millions or millions so 123,456 millions or millions, whichever way uh, your context is going. Okay, so that's a refresher how to read and write decimal numbers in English and uh, also how to work with the decimal place value.